Whenever I speak in English, I stuck in the conversation. Or, whenever I try to speak in English fluently, my mind becomes totally empty and I cannot understand what to be said next. These are the common problems of every people. Whether we are the beginners or the advanced English speaker, we have all faced these problems once or more. But don't worry, I am here with the solution of these problems. So hey guys, this is Amrita and you are watching Study with Amrita and welcome back to my channel once again. So let's see which are those English gap filler words by using of these words you can continue your English speaking fluently. So let's see. So whenever you are stuck in a conversation and you need some time to think what to say next, here you can use these filler words or phrases to break that awkward silence. So here are some fillers by which you can delay your answers. Number one is, well, you see. Now, when somebody asks you a question for which you were not so prepared and you need some time for thinking about the answer, so when you are thinking about the answer, you can use the phrase, well, you see, and then start your answer. Ex expression number two is, it's on the tip of my tongue. So, for example, when my friend asks me, do you remember Amrita what the movie name is and I know the movie name it's just on the tip of my tongue but it's not just coming out of my mouth so I really think of that name but it's not on the tip of my tongue just not coming out so in this kind of situation you can use this phrase Rather than keep silence, you can use, Oh shit, it's just on the tip of my tongue. What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay? So continue your conversation like this so that you can sound really nice and you'll come out as a very confident person as well. Expression number three is, Now let me think. So, this is a phrase by using which you can borrow some time to think from the listener directly. For example, when somebody asks you, so what do you think about this meeting? And you were not so prepared for this question. So, you can get a couple of seconds to think by using this phrase. You can say, now let me think. Now let me think about this. And then you can start your answer. So the expression number three is, now let me think. So the expression number four is, now that's an interesting question. So when somebody asks you a question which is quite embarrassing to you and really do, you don't want to answer that question, you want to really change the topic. So you can say, Huh, now that's an interesting question and then you can change the topic. So from now onwards whenever you will be asked any unpleasant question you can use this phrase. Now that's an interesting question. Okay. So from now onwards try to stop saying mm, uh, whenever you are stuck in a conversation. Because uttering this uh, or mm, proves that you are a little bit weaker in English. So I am pretty sure that from now onwards you are going to sound like a fluent English speaker by using this English gap filling words. Thank you.